a closing campaign in the province of Buenos Aires. A coalition government trying to set their differences aside in spite of the enormous contradictions that exist between President Alberto Fernández and his powerful Vice President Cristina Fernández de Kirchner. La primera, la primera condición. The first condition that we need to concentrate on, because the opposition is trying to prevent it, is the unity of our country. That is, the unity of the immense majority of the Argentine people. Fernández and Kirchner came to power almost two years ago in what was widely regarded as a marriage of convenience. Despite being a popular former president of Argentina, she says she knew she did not have enough votes to win the 2019 election on her own and needed a candidate who could support her continued aspirations for high office. But almost two years after the pandemic began, the coalition is struggling, as demonstrated by its defeat last September in the primary elections. There's a big question in Argentina right now, and that is who is running the country? Is it President Alberto Fernández or the powerful Vice President Cristina Fernández de Kirchner? whose confrontational style with the business sector has won her thousands of supporters. Many of them are present here today. Even though they both belong to the Peronist party, the differences between them bring uncertainty to the ruling coalition. But at this pro-government rally, supporters say there is not a crisis. Mario Chamorro says disagreement is welcome in the ruling coalition. La disidencia son buena. Dissent is good within one political space. In a coalition, there should be differences or it would be a monolithic movement. There is dissent in a marriage, so imagine in a political movement. Argentines will head to the polls to renew half of Congress and a third of the Senate. The question is whether the Peronist party will be able to turn around its massive defeat during the primary elections in September and what will happen if it can't. Analysts say the election will define the balance of power in government. What's going to be clear after the election is that if Cristina moves around 30% of the votes, that Alberta cannot add an extra vote and others cannot either, it's easy to understand that Cristina is going to eat them alive or has the capacity to do it. You're going to have a president with no power and we're going to see how that ends. Political uncertainty can only intensify economic instability in Argentina as the country struggles to recover from the pandemic and pay billions in foreign debt, with millions of Argentines stuck in the middle. Teresa Bo, Al Jazeera, Buenos Aires.